Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and do you want to stream or record your uh, mobile gameplay all right, on your phone to either Twitch or YouTube live all right? but if you were to stream directly from your phone it's either going to cause lagginess to the game that you're playing on your phone and you know it's not so high quality or high resolution right, to your viewers who is viewing it on Twitch or YouTube so you know if you want to offload this processing power through mirroring you can do it because well you're in luck today because today I am going to show you one really amazing mirroring software that I use all right, with a very very low latency all right and it is the AnyMiro 2.0 all right so this is the software that i use all right to stream my mobile gameplay to um to the pc and use it to you know uh, live stream it on twitch and you know on or on youtube live or right, i can use it to record my gameplay as well so you can offload the streaming processing power from your phone all right to the to mirror it to your a desktop PC so that you know you can focus on your gameplay on your phone and without any lagginess at all and this is one of the best um, mirroring tool that I've used alright because the latency is really low and they have multiple modes of connection which I'm going to show you later on alright so right now I'm going to show you around the software itself and you know the features it has and later we're going to show you some demonstration and how you guys can you know use it on like probably the uh, OBS itself. All right, so without further ado, let me just show you the software itself. All right, so this is the software right here, and as you guys can see, all right, it can mirror both Android and iOS devices. But well, for today, we will be mirroring Android devices because I'm an Android user, so you just need to click on the Android one. All right, so you can. There's two ways you guys can connect it with, or you guys can via a USB cable. Or you guys can connect it with Wi-Fi. With Wi-Fi, you guys have to download the Eddy Mirror app, all right, either from the App Store or the Google Play Store. And after that, connects your PC Wi-Fi, all right, to your phone. Uh, Wi-Fi both must be on the same Wi-Fi network in order for this to work. Unfortunately, my PC doesn't have Wi-Fi, only have Ethernet, so I cannot connect. Uh, I cannot use this feature. So make sure your PC has a Wi-Fi built-in so that you guys can connect to the same Wi-Fi network. So today I'll be just demonstrating on the USB and um, yeah, for USB it has a much lower latency as well so if you guys want a much lower latency I would highly suggest the USB one compared to the Wi-Fi which Wi-Fi will have a bit of latency as well so for a more stable connection USB would be definitely more preferred. Alright so uh, what we're gonna do now is basically open up my phone Alright, grab any USB cable that can transmit data, plug it in and ensure that you know your USB debugging is on. Alright, so I um, mean if you guys don't know how to do USB debugging, you guys can you know check other Google search yourself. It's very easy to enable USB debugging. So once you um, enable USB debugging with developer options, all right, just need to connect your phone and voila. Alright, so this is now you know uh, mirrored on my device. So uh, I can scroll left and right, you know, it's really cool. So I can see uh, everything is doing much in real time. So there is not a lot of latency. I would say about 0 0.5 second latency, all right. But before we talk about the mirroring, let's go through a few features that this um, soft, this mirroring tool have, all right. So uh, yeah, you can uh, move it around and the resolution is based on the phone itself or you guys can set it yourself. All right, before that, let me just show you a few features they have over here. All right, this one is that you can uh, add a device frame to it. So it looks more like um, a device itself, easier to see. All right, or you guys can also um, take a screenshot. These screen cans can screen record as well, so you don't need an external, you know, like OBS or XSplit. You guys can just record it from the software itself, All right? Or you can annotate the like, right draw on the screen itself. Very, very useful too, All right? For making taking notes and presentations, All right? You can collapse this menu as well, so it doesn't, you know, it looks nice. All right, and uh, yeah, so this is a settings that they have. All right, you can can get uh, you know under screen mirroring settings, you guys can mirror up to four K at one hundred and twenty FPS. That is one of the highest resolution and the most amount of FPS, uh, I I seen on on a mirroring device. Uh, sorry, on a mirroring software. So it's really cool. All right, Android I switched set to one hundred and twenty FPS, original resolution. So whatever the resolution is on my phone. Alright, it will be 
mirrored on here so if you want to upscale your phone to 4k 2k you can do that as well all right you, all, you can all uh, you can do all the settings yourself when the screenshot safe to where the you know screen recording is safe too so you don't have to use your device um, processing power all right computing power to you know do all this recording you can offload it to your system to your PC to do that for you. So to ensure that you have a really, really high uh, high resolution and high frame rate recording that you guys can upload this gameplay footage or anything or right, to uh, YouTube or, you know, whatever you want to upload it to. All right, so, uh, yeah, so let me just um, play some games. All right, so you guys can see about the, the latency as well. So, yeah, so even if my phone is in like a horizontal rotation, this the screen itself on my PC also rotates so you guys can do like streaming like something like this in this video so you can add your own webcam all right uh, and you guys can ha have the gameplay at the back itself all right so uh, my Call of Duty I think I'm running at 90 FPS my game is running at um, this thing is mirror at 120 FPS so you can ensure a very very smooth uh, gameplay as well okay so I'm just uh, jumping hop into uh, any game real quick Okay, I don't know what game they have. I right, just hop into any game real quick and show you guys just so you guys can like do gameplay, add on your mic, do commentary as well. You guys can also full screen this as well. Okay, so yeah, this is full screen. Uh yeah, you guys can pin it or uh, adjust the uh, kind of 70, you can adjust the size, right, to fit your screen, move it around. So yeah, this moving tool is really, really cool. Alright, and uh, yeah, this is my third person view camera, as you guys can see, it is almost as good as real time. You can see how the quality on this video itself, it is really, really creeps, sharps and clear, alright. A lot of mirroring tools out there, if you guys see, alright, they are, they easily get, they uh, will easily get like pixelated or blurry, but this one, no, it just stays, the quality stays constant. You guys can see over here, moving around, looking around. All right, it's all doing in real time. All right, so yeah, you can mirror in real time from the tap person camera right here. You guys can see everything is going on real time. The quality is really, really good. You know, the resolution, all this. You can tell by how good it is. And you, know, you can just like show this gameplay, live streaming. You can live stream like that, you know. Talking to your viewers, live streaming directly from your phone to your PC, right on Twitch, and you know, and you can have the quality you want on it. It's really, really awesome. Alright, and this one is really, really, um, this software uh, doesn't have any issues with it. I just need to plug and play. There's not a lot of configuration I need to do. So, uh, this software is, it works really straight out of the box and it just works all the time. I don't have any issues with it at all. So, uh, every time I just need to plug and just, you know, straight away i can mirror my phone screen so it is very very stable very reliable so yeah this is one a part of the demo all right uh and then and for next thing if you guys don't want to you know like record your this one or you guys want to probably like um use it on obs let me just show you quickly how you guys can't you know um use this on obs as well so um yeah currently i'm recording this youtube video on obs as well but um yeah, for any OBS, it's the same thing. You just guys have to just click on the plus sign, all right, and just go to Window Capture. All right, just select, uh, you can create a name for that. I'm gonna just leave it, all right. And you guys can see under the window, you guys can go into any mirror live stream. Click on that and your gameplay is up here. So yeah, so this is a full screen one. It's not recording from a desktop. As you guys can see, you can position it anywhere you want. So yeah, this is the uh, the actual one from the directly from the window capture. So that's how you guys can implement it on OBS. You can stretch it full. All right, and then I'm going to pull it down so that you guys can see me. So this is like a, like a full screen background gameplay. So you guys can see. All right, so this is how it looks like in third person. You guys can see. So uh, yeah, it's more like a professional full screen overlay gameplay while you're playing mobile games right on uh, streaming on twitch or recording it right on youtube as well so you can do that very very easily like this you see, you see? You can, so yeah, it's, it's 
that's that's how you do it on OBS itself. Very very simple. Just click a few, uh, just click a few buttons and you are good to go. So yeah, you can have a full screen recorded gameplay. Sorry, not not gameplay. Uh, full screen new gameplay, right on OBS. So yeah, it's really really cool. Okay, so let me just move this back real quick. So uh. So yeah, this is how you guys can do um on OBS, and if you guys want to, you know, know how do you guys can stream it. If you guys know, just go to settings on OBS, go down to stream. All right, uh, select where you want to stream to, Twitch, YouTube, all this. All right, and then you can have stream key and server from your Twitch account. Just paste it in, and you, and you can just uh, you know stream it on your twitch through obs so We've it is that lead. simple okay so uh yeah Being so this dominated. is uh, how Take it looks positions. like yeah, let me just quit this thing so yeah so i can just you know, yeah just move it around everything looks really smooth zero latency you guys can see so i just unplug it and automatically you know it is gone so if i want to you know mirror it i just need to plug it in okay just to give you a wow and uh, yeah, if you guys see on this corner how to enable the USB debugging, so they will show you the steps on how you guys can enable it as well. So if you don't know how to do that, you guys can do that. And yeah, after connected a while, voila, it is done. So yeah, it's very simple. I just unpl unplug it and you know, it will stop mirroring itself. So yeah, so this is one of the best mirroring software too that I've been using for a long time without any issues and I'm in love with it. So once again, if you guys want a really good and reliable mirroring software, all right, that works straight out of the box, all right, that doesn't require much configurations and you know low latency and really really good resolution. And you guys can see that you can set a different resolution you want to your liking. All right, your mirroring resolution is really really useful. You guys can check out this any mirror 2.0. Alright, so yeah, I will link them, the first link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out. You guys can download it for free, try out a bit. If you guys want, definitely get this full license because it is really, really worth it. Alright, so yeah, that's all for today, guys. And if you guys find this video really interesting, do let me know in the comment section as well. And it helps you, um, you know, find a way to, you know, stream your mobile games on Twitch, YouTube and such. Do give it a like as well and once again i will link this anymiro 2.0 software all right the first in the first link in the video which you can down below for you guys to check it out so yeah that's all for today guys and this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out i don't want to cry